Hello everyone, it's me again, wearing my um, Sew Over It Ultimate shirt, um, which was in the giveaway that video that I've released last, my last video. Um, so I'm wearing this in a white cotton, which was a bed sheet, and I'm also wearing my Sew Over It Ultimate trousers. So I'm, <sighs> so I'm feeling very summery today, um, and I'm going to be doing an updated pattern collection. Um, I'll link my last pattern collection below so that you can watch that if you fancy but um, I'm, these are not all the patterns that I own um, I'll show you the box so that I can explain properly but this is the crate that I keep my patterns in I'll pop it up here there we go so you can look at it um, there are quite a lot in there I have two of these crates in this one uh, um, I keep all of the patterns that I use quite regularly or I want to use quite soon um, so basically my favourite patterns and then in my other crate I keep uh, vintage patterns patterns that I'm not so excited to use right now um, I still want to keep them obviously which is why they're still there but um, just kind of patterns that I'm going to use not so soon so there are more vintage patterns in there um, patterns that I've made that I d I'm not super keen on patterns that you know, just other ones. So I thought I'd just show you this one because all of my new patterns are in here anyway. So I will just show you that I have, it's kind of split into two sections um, and then I've made a little divider here. You probably can't see that it says it, but it says to sew soon. And the ones that I have to sew soon are at the front. And those are ones that I want to make in the next few weeks or that I'm currently working on. So that's that there. So the first section that I'll go through with you is the to so soon section. Um, whoops, I've just dropped them all. The room is going to be quite messy by the end of this and there is going to be a lot of rustling. I'm just going to tell you that now. Not really much I can do about that. <laughs> so the first one, which is one that I'm cutting out at the moment, is New Look 6493. Also, I'm going to in include pictures if I can, slash where I can. It'll take a long time to edit. Not all of these patterns I have made, um, but the ones that I have I'll include pictures of. Um, yeah, this is New Look 6493. It's a nice little jumpsuit and I like version E, which is the play suit version, and version D, which is kind of sort of colotti jumpsuit, but it's got princess seams and it's all very nice. I'm not going to explain them all in loads of detail because it will, will be here forever. But that one's nice, I'm looking forward to that one. This is another one that I'm planning in the next kind of week or so to make and cut out. Well, cut out in the next week or so. And it's the Deer and Doe Goji shorts. And I don't really like tight shorts. These ones are nice and loose and they've got a paper bag waist, you can see here, and kind of a tie. So I'm very excited for this one. This one was quite pricey, but it's because it's a French pattern and they had to translate it and everything. But I'm really excited about that. I've not used that one yet. Another one that is a recent purchase and that I haven't used yet, most of these I haven't actually used yet in this to so soon one, um, it's New Look 6488 and the one that I bought it for was this one, View C, which she's wearing and it's kind of a strappy shift dress with a ruffle across the shoulders and I bought this more so that I could use the ruffle on other patterns but I want to make it as this dress first just because I think it's really cute. So yeah, hopefully that will be one that I do soon. This is one that I've currently got cut out and I'm currently working on. Oh, got an itch. Um, and there's some clots that I'm making for my mum. She wanted them in a nice black drapey fabric. And it's Simplicity 8092. Um, she's very short, like me. She's a bit taller than I am, but she's still quite short. Um, and yeah, this one... This So this one is hers because she's... A different size to me and I can never really be bothered to trace my pat trace my patterns because it's enough work to cut them out with my dodgy little hands anyway <laughs> um, so this one's her pattern and so she wants more than one pair of clots so I'm more than happy to have bought this for her and yeah I've got one that's quite similar you'll see in a minute anyway this one I am really excited to make this one's kind of a preview for my me made May sort of review that I want to make more outerwear for myself um, and so I got this Simplicity Bomber Jacket pattern it's Simplicity 8418 
um, I got it in the Simplicity sale, so it was half price. Great. But I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I don't have a fabric for it yet, but I'm on the hunt. Uh, next up is the Sabrina dress. Oh, this one I had a bit of prob I had a bit of a problem with because I got the PDF pattern. I'm not sure that they do it as a paper pattern. Um, because I like this version, which is the button-down sort of summer dress, because I would wear it over other tops and it would be nice and lovely. Um, and I bought it last year after kind of needing some advice on a pattern because I'd seen a picture that I really liked and I wanted a pattern to copy it from. Uh, so I got this one, but after I'd stuck all of the A4 bits together of the PDF, I the lines are actually quite similar for the different sizes. So I ended up cutting it between sizes, like some bits were the right size, but then other bits were size 16. So I'm going to have to print this all out and cut it all out again, so I'm quite cross with that. I would have made it far sooner if that hadn't happened, but it's had to be put in a naughty section for a minute. Um, this one always is in my to sew soon. I've made so many marigold trousers and marigold jumpsuits. I've got some on the go at the moment that I'm just hemming and then they're done. And I just love this pattern. Um, this goes with my Me Made May review thing as well, but I need to make more separates. So there's probably going to be a lot more of this pattern to come. Uh, again, uh, I haven't made this one yet. I got this at the swap from the fold line sewing weekender last year um, and it's the Sewaholic Renfrew jersey top um, I really like view A which is this scoop neck one because I have the Rowan pattern which I'll get out now and show you because if I'm talking about it I might as well get it out to show you I'll just stall here for a minute while I try and find it where is it? here it is nope, here it is um, yes, I have the Rowan pattern um, which is another favourite, which is also in my to sew soon section. Um, but this one comes as a bodysuit and a top, and there is so there are six variations. But the crew neck version that I made was really quite choky, and I am not a fan of that. So this is going to be kind of an extension of the Rowan pattern, and I'll just be using this one. But I haven't made that yet. But otherwise, I love Rowan, <laughs> and I'm excited to make Rowan through. Um, this one, oh boy, this is going to be my go-to shirt pattern, I think, go-to blouse slash shirt, and it's a vintage pattern, I talked about it in my uh, March and April makes video, which I'll link below, um, I made my first version of this, and I'm so in love with it, I'm going to make so many of these, so this is going to be, like the marigold, it's going to be one that's living constantly in my to sew soon, and the one that I like is this one, which is version 4, Oh, it's so lovely, so lovely. Um, and then, another one in my to sew soon. I have made one of these before. It was for my prom outfit, which I made last year. Um, it's the Ogden Cami. Um, and I'm not one really to wear sort of strappy things because I don't really like my arms being out. I'd prefer to have something short sleeved. So this one, I'm not sure how many of these are gonna, I'm going to make, but it's really great because it's going to be a great scrap buster. So even if I use it as a pyjama top, which I'm sure I wouldn't, I'm sure I would wear it, even if I had something over the top like this. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to making more of those because I got on really well with that last time. Um, this one, you can't see what it is, so there's not much point in me telling you, but it's a boxy vintage pattern, which my friend Zoe from Zoe Sews sent me the traced on this cute little wrapping paper she traced off her one and sent it to me because I really liked her version so hopefully you'll be seeing that one soon um, that's all that I've got in my to sew soon section I'll keep the divider there and I'll get out the next load of patterns okay okay here we go um, I've got this very easy Vogue which is V8970 I haven't made this one either but I got this in the Vogue sale I think it was half price um, and it's a nice little raglan sleeve shirt dress I really like the neck on this one I've been wanting to make a dress with this neck for a very long time but I just haven't gotten around to it yet but um, I thought this was quite nice and different because it has the raglan but yeah I 
have other things that I'm wanting to make more, so hence why this one isn't in it so soon, but I am very excited to make that one. Then I have my only Republic du Chiffon pattern so far, which is surprising because I love all of their patterns. And um, again, I keep giving you spoilers for the Me Made May review video, but there are a lot of their patterns that I want to get to plan for my sewing for the rest of the year. So this is the Hedwig shirt, I don't know how to say that, that's how it's spelt. And it's basically, um, I'll get the thing out because you can't really see it. It's really cute because it's opened like that. Um, this one is pretty much the same actually as the Sew Over it Ultimate shirt, which is what I'm wearing now. Um, it is slightly different, but very similar. So I haven't made this one yet because it needed the seam allowance added to it. Um, but I will be making that because I just love, I love Republic de Chiffon patterns and there are going to be more of those arriving in a haul soon, hopefully. Um, then I have the Sew Over it Ultimate shirt. This is a PDF pattern, which is why it hasn't got a picture on the front because I know what it looks like, but it's what I'm wearing now, so I won't need to insert a picture. It's got nice cuffs, box pleat on the back, yoke on the back. Nice. Um, so that's a good one. Then I have the uh, then I have the Colette Aster blouse. Really like this one too. I've only made one of these so far, but it was in a size that was far too big. And I really like how they've done this one because it's got like a little booklet, and then at the back um, is where the pattern pieces are. So I'm a big fan of that one. And there are three versions there. I made version one but I like the other two versions as well. And I really like, like I said, I like that kind of neck. The collarless, not really sure what that's called, but I like it. It's like a V-neck, but on a blouse. Um, this one came with a magazine, dressmaker magazine to be exact. It's New Look 6467. Um, and it's kind of, I think it would be classed as a shift dress really, but it's for drapey fabrics. These two are kind of not, all that exciting but I do really like these two so hopefully maybe fingers crossed I might be making one of those this summer um, this is another new Vogue pattern which I'm really 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 excited to make because it's got such exciting um, kind of details it's got contrasty bits and um, little inserts and same with the back there um, this one was also in the Vogue half price sale so I got it at the same time as that other Vogue one I showed you, because otherwise I wouldn't buy Vogue patterns. But this one was just so interesting that I thought it'd be good for scrap busting and whatnot. I'm really looking forward to making that one. Then I have the Colette Penny dress, because I am on an everlasting hunt for the perfect shirt dress pattern. Um, and I think this one might be it. It was all thanks to Emily from Self Assembly Required. She's just started her own YouTube channel, so I'll link her below as well. But um, it's all thanks to her for suggesting this pattern. You can't in really see the details there. But I'm really looking forward to making this. The only thing holding me back is that it needs quite a hefty amount of fabric. Three and a half or four metres. Because it's got a very big skirt. But yeah. Well, as soon as I've got a fabric that I have enough of, I'm going to be making this. <laughs> um, then this is one that one of my lovely friends in America sent to me. Um, well, actually, specifically Canada, not America. Very different. Sorry to have offended anyone there. Um, and it's Butterick 3460 Fast and Easy. And these are kind of like the Marigold. I'm not so interested in the skirts because I don't really wear skirts that much. But it's kind of like the Marigold pattern, but with wider legs and a drawstring at the waist as well. And I want to make something that is wide leg but not quite colots. So I'm very grateful for this one having been sent to me. I'm looking forward to using it. Um, this is my Colotts pattern, so mum's got her one, this one's my one, and it's Butterick 6178, the one that everyone was using last year, and I got one for myself. Um, because I'm so short, sure, I'm not sure how Colotts are going to look on me, so I'm going to make the wider leg trousers first, which I just showed you, before I make these, because I'm a bit worried about how good that will actually look. Um, this one is New Look 0597. One's quite, one that is quite out of my comfort zone actually, but that I do really want to make. Um, it's really cute. This was another one that someone sent to me very kindly. And yeah, 
I think it's good to push myself out of my comfort zone. I've seen a fabric actually that would be really, really cute for view D, um, which is this one. So I might use that. Whoops, more fabric shopping. I don't need to do any more fabric shopping. Okay, next we have the sew over it zone. I do actually, believe it or not, have a lot more sew over it patterns than this. Um, I have, I think I've got pretty much every pattern that they've ever released, really. But these are the ones that I use, I like, and that I want to use. Um, and that is the Erin skirt from Sew Over It City Break. I haven't made this yet, but again, looking at Me Made May, it's one that I'm definitely going to be making soon. I have some denim already that I really want to use, and I would make the mini version, not the long one. I'm more of a mini kind of person, makes me look more in proportion. <laughs> Um, then I have the rosy dress. I've made this one. I've made one of these and I'm definitely going to make another one, but without boning. I'm not a fan of the boning really. Um, but I really like that one. Nice and it was a really nice summer dress and also one that you can wear something else underneath, which is how I've been wearing mine. Then the Alex shirt and shirt dress. I've never made the shirt dress version because it's quite wide. I like things going at the waist a bit more, but I really like the shirt and I've kind of, this has kind of become my scrap buster pattern because I'm able to get the shirt out with kind of 80 centimetres of fabric. So that one is a very handy one to have and one that I'm going to be using a lot. Um, then I have the Sew Over at Elsie dress. This is another one that I've only made one of and that was when I was pattern testing it, but I really loved it and I it's been the, what I've worn whenever I've gone to something slightly fancy so definitely going to be another one of these because I need another dress which is a kind of slightly fancy dress and I might also make the skirt um, which I could also wear to slightly fancier occasions but I really love the version that I've made and I've worn it to parties that are kind of more fancy and a wedding so this is the perfect dress for a wedding um, and yes, a wedding guest, maybe not. You can make it if you were a bride if you wanted, but it's a good wedding guest dress. Um, then I have the Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers, which is what I'm wearing today. This is the only pair that I've made of the Ultimate Trousers, but I definitely want to make more. Um, they are high-waisted on me anyway, without the high-waisted adjustment, so I don't have to make any changes really. Um, I think I did slim the leg down a little bit, um, but I really love it going to be more of these. And then the Doris dress. No, you could definitely tell that this was going to be in my, this should be in my to sew soon section really because I've made three versions of this which might not be that many but considering how many patterns I have I've gone back to this one quite a few times and um, yeah I really love this pattern. I've kind of got it to a point where I'm able to, it's, it fits me really well um, because I've made a few versions I've kind of perfected it so this is one that's easy for me to go back to it's an easy make for me because I've done it a few times I know what's happening and yeah a very pretty one too this one I've made so many times that it's actually fallen apart and it's the vintage shirt dress pattern um, I've made it as actual shirts I've made it as dresses I've made it as short sleeve long sleeve middle length to the sleeve I love this one very nice very nice very nice and there will be more of these to come as well. <laughs> okay, that's the sew over it section done. We're starting to get onto more vintagey ones now. This one is not a vintagey one, not for a while. We've got a few until the vintagey ones. This one is New Look 6483, one that's just gonna be a really good little scrap buster. I don't actually think I've made this pattern, um, but it's an easy one to have, and it requires basically no fabric at all. Perfect. Um, next we have the Tilly and the Buttons Freya dress. This one is from her book Stretch. So it's in its own little envelope. I write my fabric requirements and things on the back there. Um, I really love the Freya dress. I've made two so far and I've got a lot of jerseys that are definitely going to become this one. Then I have the Aula pattern. Um, I got this one given to me when I went up to do some work experience for Tilly um, and she let me have this pattern very kindly. Um, I haven't made Orla yet, but I'm going to. I really love the little scalloped collar with the long sleeve version. I think I'm going to be doing it like that. 
Oh my goodness, I'm sorry I'm being so speedy with it, but this is going to be such a long video. I hope you've got some tea and biscuits. Uh, next is another Tilly one. Again, I have more, far more Tilly patterns than are in this box, but I've kind of narrowed it down to the ones that I'm looking forward to seeing or have sewed and enjoyed. Because a few of the Tilly patterns, Fifi and Fran Francoise, and actually Lilu and Megan, I found don't fit me very well which have kind of put me off them but this one is a nice jersey pattern and it's a great one for scrap busting because look at how many different bits you can get out of different fabrics splendid so excited to make that one then we have Ariel um, another one that I haven't made but another mini skirt but this one has the buttons down the side so I'm looking forward to that one then we have a vintage pattern which I feel is cut out in quite the wrong size for me but I liked it anyway um, and it's in a shirt dress and you can also have it with a pencil skirt um, it is another one that takes up a lot of fabric so I will be making penny before I make this one I'm not sure if I ever will make this one I just think it's pretty but yeah not much else to say about that one now we're on to more of the vintagey patterns this is not a vintage pattern, um, it's New Look 6420, one that I've not made but it's just for knits and I thought it was a nice t-shirt, just easy t-shirt. I got this in the Sewing Weekender swap as well. Now we're on the sewing vintage ones. Uh, this one is a News of the World pattern. Not really sure where you would get that, but it's kind of, I like this play suit version. It's got a little lace insert there, nice loose elasticated waist. Yeah, I think I will make that one, but I do have a bit of a fear of vintage patterns. This one is style 2231, and one that I was so excited to find. I love it. I love it, but I haven't made it yet. But I love it. Oh, very excited about that one. Oh, very exciting. Then I have the, I'll just call it 9000, because that's what it is. Um, it's one that Lisa Comfort made um, and reviewed. But again, it requires so much fabric. So much fabric. Up to 5.2 if you're in, a, in from like uh, size 22 to 24. Um, so this is a lot of fabric that is needed for this one, hence why I haven't made it yet. Um, but it is pretty, and if Penny doesn't go well, I'll move on to this one. But I think Penny will go well. Then this is another super cute one. It's Style 2119. Look at it, it's so cute, it's so cute. And I really want to make this version um, with a red gingham and white for the collar and cuffs because that is a very Moonrise Kingdom, Susie from Moonrise Kingdom um, pattern, basically. That is basically exactly what she wears. So I'm going to be making that soon. Then I have Butterick B6324 and I like version A and B on this one. A nice little cropped boxy. So this one and this one, because that one's got a contrasting button band. Um, I made this once, but that was right when I started sewing, really, so maybe two years ago. And it didn't come out very well, which is why I haven't made it since. But I will be making it again, because I like boxy kind of shirts. I think they're nice. This one is Sunday People Pattern 531. It's size 16, so it's far too big for me. But I, I think I could... I really, I just love the bodice of it with the little pussy bow and then it's got a yoke at the front. I really like it so I might just kind of hack off the skirt and make the blouse but with not so puffy sleeves. Um, but I really like that one. I think it's really interesting. So even if it doesn't fit me, I keep it because it looks nice. So yeah. And then I have McCall's M7536. This one came with Love Sewing. And it's a petite pattern. Yay, one for me. And this is quite like the Elsie dress, really, but for petite. So it's got a lot of different versions. There's gathers or box pleats or gathers without sleeves. But it's got nice princess seams. It's really pretty. And yeah, looking. For, I will make this one, I think. Um, it's just kind of a matter of when I'll be able to. Then I have two men's patterns plus the Sew Over It Hackney shirt. Um, these are the ones that I've tried for my dad and for my boyfriend. But I think I'm definitely going to be doing the Sew Over It one because of the 
instructions. It's a video online class, so it's nice and simple. I did, these were successful. It was just the fitting, they were so hard to fit because it seems like Will and my dad are both really disproportionate in measurements. So they don't really have a size. It's very frustrating, but I won't tell them that because they'll feel a bit insecure. <laughs> but us sewists know it's not an insult, it's just how it happens. I'm like that sometimes. Um, then I have McCall's M7330, um, which is kind of boiler suit, which I really like. I think I'll make this in the autumn, actually. Um, I really like it. Again, it's one that's kind of more out of my comfort zone, but I like that. And I like this, so that's going to happen. Um, and then next we have, uh, these are the last ones. There's Butterick 5895, which is a crop top, kind of like an actual version of what I'm wearing, so it's a tie front top. But the collar was massive when I made it. And then these are all the um, copy shop printouts of all of the patterns from Stretch, the Tilly and the Buttons book. And I love all of them. I'm going to make all of them. <laughs> Um, so that's all of my patterns in my more popular pattern pattern box um, and my newest ones. So I really hope you've enjoyed it and you've seen all of the patterns that I own really if you watched this one and the last pattern collection I did. But there will be some new ones I think at the end of May because I... you'll see in that video. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I better go have a bit of a stretch because I'm quite uncomfortable sitting in this position now. But I will see you again soon. Don't forget to enter my giveaway for the Sew Over It Ultimate Shirt Online class. Bye!